Hello everybody, welcome to another Let's Play. It is a little darker in here today, um, whenever lights blew out that we normally use. So I'll try to fix that. The little cat says hello! Says the little cat. That is our cat, Pumpkin his name is. Today we're going to be playing Slayer Shop. Now this is a game that uh, has some very cool points to it, and some points that people don't like. I guess it's got mixed reviews. Uh, I was fortunate enough to help beta test this, but I didn't know a few things that I wish I would have, and I have a few points I'd like to make personally about the game that I like, and a few points that I feel like they could have probably done different things with. Um, so, let me tell you how this works here. Um, easy mode is all right normal is how he wants to do this uh so we're gonna i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know um i don't want to do tourist i will say his normal is actually hard but we'll go for normal like I said before, I try to do in every game. Now, uh, if this arch looks slightly familiar, this is a guy who has done mm, uh, a minor key game. So they have done uh, Elric, they've done Neon Struct, Slayer Shock is an episodic, almost Buffy the Vampire type uh, thing where you play a female vampire hunter who, along with her colleagues, I believe one of which you have to rescue. Uh, you will... Alright, oh, follow the trail of blood. I didn't even read this. Would have been good if I did. I have one game that I had saved way back that I was uh, tinkering around with, and I, I'm not going to lie to you all, since I play tested this one, I'm not new to it, per se. Um, but it's one of those little ones that has its good points. It has a few, I'm not going to lie, that are bad, and I will address them. I personally think if he would address these, um, but as somebody who's known a lot of developers, I think he has fair points, so it's hard to ignore those fair points. It's one of those that you could or couldn't, you know what I mean, like if you, if you don't want to... deal with. So let's get to the glaring points. Uh, my only real issue with the game that I really didn't know, notice as much in beta, I would have mentioned it then actually, but uh, would be um, oh, I should turn this on, I suppose to show you all. So the way lock picking in this works is when you see that little zoom up there, that means success, you have done it with the lock picking. So it's actually not too shabby, it's uh, this atmospheric lighting is actually pretty decent for a game like this too. But anyway, the the spawn points. So those are my that is my number one complaint. I, I feel like if he could get that down a little more evenly, you could probably get away with not having uh, as much. trouble with them. I feel like that and the second one is the sound should be atmospheric. The sound in the game is good, but there are times where I hear vampires not near me. Those two inconsistencies out of the way, let's talk about what he gets right. Um, I like that there is a female protagonist, but first person, so her look is entirely up to your imagination. I think you can... I like that one. Uh, you can kind of change the nail polish of your character and skin color so you can be whoever you want to be, you know. Um, now mind you, the gameplay was more important than having high HD graphics. Um, the game works in seasons. 
and you will have vampire threats in an area and have to decide the risk versus reward factor and then on top of it you're not going to be able to save whole areas of your town so you're going to have to decide what to finally let go of when the threat level gets too high and it's say three and three in one area three in another and four in another then obviously you want to deal with four because it's the top one see these little pits here so minions are kind of annoying they're not uh they're not bad so anyways i just said press h to uh slide bandages so we're gonna do that we are gonna stab these two and break them because i'm a slayer that's what i do slayer get it look i don't know what to tell you it's not my best sorry they're looking for great, for great, for great jokes. I don't know what the hell's wrong with my speech today. I'd say I haven't had enough coffee, but, uh, well, I guess that's not a total lie. I'm drinking it now. Now, the thing here is, guys, um, as I said, yes, I did indeed beta test it, and I know you're thinking, well, Bones, why didn't you tell us this then, or why didn't you tell him then about these problems? Well, because I was... I'm more of a bug hunter. I look for the bugs in games and try to figure out what causes them, how to be useful in that way, and which gameplay features I feel like work the best. I didn't know at the time. Ooh. Now, that was a dream, but if you do that normally and you lose, you will lose some, some shit in an area. So you start off with these three people. Jason, Ashley and Patwick. I think that they may be different here and there. Um, I want to see my other one. I have a different one. So first we're going to get our nails did. I feel like black nails are appropriate for kicking vampires' asses. So let's do that, shall we? So uh, first I'm just going to show you these are skills. So you can actually buy skills. Um, the first skill I recommend is either going to be Sneak Attack or Vampire's Curse, because as you can see here, you cover a small amount of health when collecting vampire dust, and trust me when I say that will come in quite handy. Your stick is actually a pretty decent melee weapon in this game, unlike a lot of them. I'm going to show you what she sells now, Discover Big Bads. Um... And as it goes on, I believe she gets more things, too. Patwick, the weaponsmith. And I know you're like, why do you keep saying Patwick like that? I don't know. Um, if I had one other complaint, it would be that the... I'm not going to lie to you all. I feel like the, me, the ranged weapons don't pack enough punch for what they are. And they have a hard time even killing a... Uh, what do you call it? A... Um, minion, and I feel like those should be a one-shot with a ranged, since your stick can kill them in two. At least to help pick off minions, it would be very useful, because you'll see what I say about spawn points. So we're going to talk to our people. Patrick has a new weapon ready for him, gear up before tonight's hunt, because Ashley later shall be tracked on the vampire leaders. Um, and they do talk normally. Yeah, so basically, if a vampire, if a vampire area... Um, now, I would recommend you don't purchase ammo, for the reason that there are chests out there which will give you ammo. And I know that's like a crazy thing to say. Jesus, I feel like we're going to go with this one. I feel like I always go with this one. But you see here, so I unlocked that, so the next one lets me carry three bandages. This whole line is good. Now, he has raised these in the final version. Uh, I believe this used to be a mere, like, thousand, and now it's two thousand, so... He's raised them up a little more to give you, uh, something to, I guess, fight for. Lack of better terms, so we're gonna save the game to start. 
That's the one I play on my own, so we'll make number nine our let's play one. That way we can never accidentally override it. Now, you can see here, Old Town has a threat, but we can't go there. Grayside has none. I can get a crossbow. You see up here, threat level, rewards, blueprint. Um, but this one has a threat level one, so that one's worse. That one, reoccurring turns, obviously, the threat levels for these two are going to go up one, they'll go down one here. This is a mission type. And this is a hard mission to start with. But I'll show you. It's a good one to discuss the spawn point issue. Now this is the Ritual of the Har Harrowing. I do always save it when I start off a mission. Because um, it's funny. If you notice in that top one, by the way, I'm like overdue in my episodes to have killed the leader, um, but I was saving up so I could get extra ninja goodness before trying to track him down. I probably should move. So the way this works is seasons and episodes. Um, there are certain ones that are worth playing, and there are steam achievements to be unlocked, so do not shit. So do not, don't shit. <laughs> Unless you have to, I guess, then go, go right ahead. Be golden, pony boy. But, uh, yeah, so the Ritual of the Harrowing is one, Rescues are another. Rescues are tricky because stealth is kind of required, because if elite vampires, and we'll, we'll show you those, they drop dust, and uh, if they have a ranged attack, which is like this weird fireball thing they throw at you. Um, each area, well, if you see a warning that it has a vampire leader, think of them as sort of like... Now you have a manager, then you have a assistant manager. They're kind of like the assistant manager. The big bad is the manager of the vampires, so he's like, you know, well, yeah, he's like the manager. If we're talking local terms, if you're talking, I guess, bigger companies, and he'd be like the CEO, and then the other guy would be like, oh, shit. Um, you get the idea. Uh, now, funny I told you all, there's a chest. I was gonna say, funny I told you all that there are chests everywhere and I'm not seeing them. The game's making a friggin' liar out of me. Uh, now these are randomly generated. Which I like because it gives it a little more... ...mystery. Now when you first start, you'll see that I'm, I'm crouched. If you even stand, those minions will be on you like mosquitoes at a blood bank. It's it's rough. See that? I made a I made a blood second go. Nuanced. Alright. So we're gonna bandage up here since I'm gonna get some new bandages. I believe that is an elite over there. I don't know. Nope. Because they're minions, they stand different. Now, you see how that says force pin? You never wanna do that. Um, if you can help it, especially if you're doing stealthy. And the reason is because it makes noise and will attract the minions, and they already run at you like crackheads and PCP addicts, so you do not want that. And you'll see there are seed 1 bandage, 53 dust, and a certain amount of nail gun ammo. So let's just show you in the wild why I'm not a fan of the ranged. So I feel like Oh, actually, the nail gun takes a little more punch than I remember. Yes, three hits with this, but two with your melee. To me, it should be the opposite, and the range should pack a greater punch, thus giving you incentive to use the option of buying ranged uh, uh, ammo or making you want to. I find I often do not use ranged at all in this game. Um, and again, I'm not saying that to try and, you know, put the game down. It's actually an entertaining game, and if you find it, uh, and you watch this Let's Play, and it's something interests you, and you're more stealthy than me, you might have an easier go with this. There is a skill tree that helps you become harder to detect as well. Obviously, I do not possess these skills right now since these things are seeing me from across the damn map. Um, one thing I also didn't know 
I forgot that key turned on my flashlight, so when I reinstalled this and started playing it, guys, I'm not kidding you, I actually went and, uh, <laughs> I feel, uh, silly saying this, but I did not realize that I'd accidentally turned my flashlight on at some point and couldn't understand why the hell things were finding me quicker, but, yeah. So, be aware of that. Be aware of that shit. Pay attention to your surrounds. Yes, it's a throwback to one of my earlier Let's Plays. Um, I still don't remember what that's from. That's from a movie, but so far none of you have identified it. Uh, now let's talk for a minute about, about the elephant in the room. Yes, our not safer Let's Plays are not up. And the reason is, uh, apparently YouTube felt that just a naked lady doing nothing sexual but walking around in a platform game was too risky. Um, so they took that video down of Haiti. So there is no... I've appealed that decision, so we'll see what, what's going on. To me, I don't see why showing a pair of boobs in a game is any worse than tons of gore that doesn't even have to be age-restricted. But, you know, change starts with us people. So... If it offended somebody out there, I'd only ask, don't play my damn videos, just don't watch it. Watch another Let's Play. That's why I put them on a separate channel. Ironically, the zombie one I covered uh, had much more nudity and much more gratuitous nudity, even though it too was not sexual. But I think because it was 2D and drawn, they didn't flag that one or take it down. Neither should have been taken down, uh, as they were already tagged uh, age-restricted. So I don't know. Maybe we'll do those on another channel and I'll work that out with another uh, a thing that's not so stringent about it. I, I'm not sure. Maybe we'll make a second channel on another network and uh, those of you who write me will know it. Uh, I don't have anything like it yet. I'm not speaking in code here, just so you know. So don't get excited yet. I haven't even bothered. I do apologize. This has been our only Let's Play this week. We've had a very busy week. Uh, it truly even starts a, a new job tonight. So this Let's Play is in, in the morning right now. I don't know where you are, but... Um, so yeah. Now, the houses in this game, I think, uh, they didn't do bad with. They're a little sparse. Again, I think, uh, I'll be honest. One thing I really think that is a must that doesn't happen in this is workshop support. I think that would have been a great help. These minions are starting to piss me off because they're actually doing some serious damage to my character. But you can see what I mean about the spawn point thing. I'm not even to the big bad yet. These are the little lackeys, and they are doing a shitload of damage, and they're everywhere. They're, uh... I feel like there should be only half this amount on normal for the fact of, look, I get it. They're protecting the area, but come on, baby. There's an elite, there's a, another huge ass thing that I do not fancy having to fight because they're assholes. Now, elites, that's why I grabbed the dust off them to heal a little. The giant thing there is almost like the vampire version of the Hulk, and we'll go kill that in a moment. I'm trying to avoid it for now while I kill this other elite over here. You know, see, we're near our goal. So, the goal is to light... Sweet. The goal is to light this thing, and then when you do... You little asshole. And then when you do, you will... <laughs> I like that I just swore like that. Alright. Sorry, the cat apparently wants to... So, I'm letting him down, and, uh... Oof. Uh, you may have also noticed that over the past few months, uh, yours truly has been working out and getting in better shape. That is something that is a conscious decision on my part. There is the jack-o'-lantern. 
you will like that. And then summon the heralds. The heralds are these jack o' lantern head having uh, dudes who basically come out of the friggin' woodwork and will go spastic on your ass. So do not hesitate to mess them up to play from sundown. Terry, terrors are a pain in the ass. Terrors? Anybody tell me if I'm pronouncing it right? I don't know. So we're going to go and use a skill I don't have. <laughs> I thought I had it. You notice every once in a while I was running and then crouching again. That's because I keep forgetting I don't have that skill unlocked because I'm doing a new character and a new let's play here instead of uh, the, the character I've been playing to practice. Jesus. I will say this must be fun. It's just figured blaring at like 3 a.m. and all you hear are these squealy ass things. I'm sure that's great for the neighbors. Um, I kill as many of these little shits as I can because they will inv inevitably find you during the Harrow ritual and they're a pain in the ass and you don't want to deal with them. Man. Now, see that? See that shit how that worked? That damn thing just found me as I was on my way to the Harrow ritual. So I'm not even there yet and I've dealt with them. So what we're going to do is when we get there we have to bandage up, tuck her down, and just strafe them and keep going to mess them up as, as well as we can. I don't know how well it's going to work, but we're going to try. And by staying in this little pocket area here, I'm hoping, yes, it's kind of boxed me in, but it's also boxed them in away from... I have a hell another one of these spawn this quick. Do you see what I mean, guys? This is... I feel like once they're dead, they should stay dead. I don't really feel like it's very fair otherwise. It's just too effing... It's too much, you know what I mean? So yeah, again we're going to try and kill these little assholes, and I'm not going to lie to you, I don't think we're going to be able to do this mission. Um, it's just, there's too much shit around here. And I gotta kill three of these assholes, and they're not easy to kill, as you are seeing. So we're just gonna try. I'm gonna fail, of course. But hey, I don't cheese out in my let's play. If I fail, I fail. And I'm gonna fail. I'm doing horrible. But, at least I'm bringing something back. So I failed all of that, miserably. Um, I don't even want to look at them. I'm ashamed. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I have nothing to gain from this. Now this one's a rescue, and this one is a little easier. And we even get a teammate, the shopkeeper. He sells bracelets, so we want this one. So I'm just gonna go right into it. I'm not even fucking around here with any sort of thing. I could go back and try to do the howl again, but I really don't want to. I don't like the howl. Um, or not the howl, the... Uh, Logan's Woods as a whole, I think it's one of the harder maps. But like I said, my biggest problem with it isn't even that. It's the state of... Where were we there? Jiggle it just a little bit. Wiggle it just a little bit. There we go. The old jiggle wiggle. Works every time. Um, but no, so, yeah, I think I've covered a lot of ground already on the talking aspect of this Let's Play. Uh, Slayer Shock is a hard game, man. This is normal, so imagine this shit on hard. The spawn points are definitely the thing that I think if the, he would tweak those and make them non-respawnable, so that way if you wipe clean out an area, they stay up and cleaned out. You could have a little more fun playing it. Um, not to mention the rate, the the size of the spawns gets to be a little much. Um, where I feel like they have cranked that up way too up and high personally. But you see there, it's almost impossible to avoid detection, especially in the early levels where these little shits seem to have. See? 
So now what's going to happen here is one of these elites will know that we either kill me or kill the thing that I'm trying to rescue, generally. And that is a big issue. Fuck off, you little shit. Um, yeah, as I was saying. Spawn points, man. This is normal, you know what I mean? Like, can you imagine this shit on higher I'd never play it? I honestly would not. And again, that's from somebody who sees the positive merits of this game, which they, they, they exist. I like the episodic thing. Yes, I've given up all hope of playing stealthy, but if you are aware, you really should give up hope early on of being any sort of stealth like character. The only reason I'm actually ducking half the time now is to minimize the damage to me because it gets severe when it comes down to dealing with uh, the giant hordes of vampires which you will inevitably come across. I mean, these little assholes are a pain in the ass. Um, the other problem is the stun is great in theory, but I don't think the person who made this game realized if you go to stun somebody, you shove them so far away that unless you can run up on them, you're not hitting them again before they're unstunned. Um, now the creator of this is David Pittman. Uh, Neon Struct, I think, is his masterwork, frankly. He did great with that. Although I'm not going to lie, Eldrick was pretty cool. Um, I think it was another really hard one, but... With purpose, let's be honest. You, you, you're not really out of think you meant to get that far ahead in a game about Lovecraft's creatures. Come on, do the, let's do the wiggle jiggle. There we go. Oh shit, that's a tabby. These are bad news. <laughs> They will literally blow up like some Miley Cyrus episode on Twitter and then fuck you all up. Um, so they're not fun to play with. We are going to shut this door and I recommend you always do that when you can. Because you do not want to leave anything to chance if you can help it in this game. The more you minimize your risk, the better. Believe me. Because there's going to be a lot of risk. I don't know where the fuck he went. See, so the minions don't hurt you for much, but it still hurts enough where you can see here I do not have any kind of uh, health kit, anything to help me. Which definitely sucks, because, you know, would be lovely to have no equipment. Something has broke one of those windows, I don't know what that is. Some of these doors you can also lock, so that is good to keep in mind, because you want to if you can have that lock them. So you can already hear some little bastard coming from me. Um, so yes, this is Slayer Shock, a very weird game that has a very interesting premise and unfortunately just suffers from too much uh, gone wrong in the way of, you know, I mean, I'm not trying to be a dick here, but let's just call it what it is. On paper, the idea is fantastic, and I do like the game, but it is just frustratingly difficult at times, and that kills any, um, I don't know. I think if you would go back, patch a few small things, maybe even add workshop support so people could give you their own characters and missions, and even make new skills for your character, this game can be a lot of fun. But as you see, I've been defeated twice. Twice already. With nothing to, to speak for it. So it is insanely difficult to a almost not fun degree at this point. Um, 
And then it becomes the thing of, well, what is, why would I keep playing it at this point? What's the point of it? So Patrick is dead. Again, we're going into Gray's side. Uh, this one is a bigger threat. But I need to just rescue four hostages, so we're going to try it. I have a little more damage to my stake now, so hopefully between that and my trying to stun... Nope, he's going to go before that fast. See what I mean? So that's a fucking thing. So! We are going to go... I decided here, we're going to return to the title, and restart it. Frankly, we're going to restart it. We're going to start it on easy, and see how we do. Um, I wish I would have turned this off, I didn't know. So let's go again. Yes. New game. Easy. Yes, yeah, so see the mentors' names change, all these other people's names change, and all that, and then you just basically talk to them. Uh, and we're going to try it again. But yeah, there's, there's, I don't know. I normally don't do these in a game. But I feel like normal on this game for some reason, and the, the goopy part is, I'm normally better at these than this. But I have a few theories as to what's going wrong, so I'm going to try and test these theories and help a new character. So, we will save our game again here. Start over. And the howl is a shotgun, or a water blaster. Now. I don't feel like doing ritual, but those are my only choices, aren't they? So it's really a matter of 370, or 230, 270, so we want to 70, we want to get all of the, uh, basically as many as we can when it comes down to getting all the dust, because the dust is a precious commodity. It really is, in this game. Um, now, we will see how this weekend goes. I might make up and do one of these Sunday. I might wait and do one of these a different day, I don't know. Um, but, I would like to think, at least, that we will, we will have some fun. doing these. So I'm just going for this and being as forthcoming as I can. I hear them though, I do not see them. But yeah, basically those little ones can kiss my ass. I do not like the minions at all. I find them a, a rather horrible annoyance. Um, I do not think they are tough. I just think they're annoying. But they are certainly one of those things that you don't want to have to do with you because then you're like, you know, what the fuck, man? They're almost too much. You know what I mean? They're very annoying. So yes, this game to me is a little more balanced than easy. As you can see, now, I don't know how the hell I've done as well as I have in my normal one. I really should have done that, but I didn't uh, anticipate it. So, Lampard, uh, meanwhile, has increased in Oton and Lancaster States. So, da -da -da. Now, the more you fail, that's when you start losing teammates, I remember. I think if you do not fail, you keep them for a while. So, first person's first here. So, you can see here we've got salt shot and a shotgun. However, I'm going to tell you now, 
Uh, I don't really care for the shotgun as much. Maybe all these do more damage on this one, I'm not sure, but... I know on normal they sure don't do a lot. Um, so now we have a few options. I can just save up, do one more mission. But I think we're going to get this one early, and then come back and, and grab this one. Um, just so we have it. And, and we'll start there with the main two on our first mission. That's two or something left. I think I can grab one more. I don't want to. Okay, so I need to get some more shit for her. So we will go get some more dust. The Lancaster State, it seems, would make sense to me. And I'm fine with that because, frankly, oh. 240, 350. And rescue steel. Steel is a pretty fun one. Um, I don't know, but right now it's all about the dust, so I gotta stick with that. I don't want to have to, but. Much like Dune was about the spice, this is all about the dust. So we're gonna we're gonna go and see how we do with that. Um, so yeah, if I had to rate this game in stars, I would say it seems to depend on what difficulty you play it on. A normal, I would do maybe two out of five. If you would tweak a few things, I would give it a four out of five. But I believe he, that ship has sailed, unfortunately. I really regret not noticing the spawn point issue earlier when he was still doing updates because it probably would have got handled then, but uh, that ship has sailed, sadly. So I feel like there's not much we can do now about that. Um, as he said, this one did not make as much money as he had hoped. Therefore, he does not put as much money into this one for repairing it as, say, another. Um, it doesn't mean, of course, that I don't like his normal work. Um, like I said, Neon Struck. Great soundtrack. Good game. Not the best game I've ever played, of course, but pretty good game. Um... And an interesting game on top of it, you know what I mean? It's it's not a bad game at all. It's got a good premise. Quite a long game, actually, for a game like that. And uh, quite a lot of missions. So it's not a bad little game at all. But you cannot ignore that there is some sort of charm in this one. It's just a question of, does that charm come at the cost of some of the gameplay and to me the answer there is sadly yes I feel like he has sacrificed things that I don't think he should have um, personally that's my opinion it may not be everybody's you know when I tried this early on uh, I liked the episodic nature of it uh, I thought this was going to be a good hit um, and it's not that I was wrong I was not wrong but I certainly did not anticipate how much these spawn points would piss people off, myself included. Because um, I didn't know. You know, I had no idea that they were going to be as bad as they really were. And then you find out that they're a lot harder than you think they are. And, you know, when you have minions who somehow hear you lock picking at normal, and it's not that they lock uh, hear you, it's that they. The spawn point is too big, so they actually see you when they shouldn't be able to see you. Um, and again, that is just a fault of the spawn point and how it was set up. So I'm not exactly the biggest of fans of that. Uh, but again, I'm not trying to trash talk this guy's work. I am giving my opinion as to things you could do to fix it. Um, I would. Personally, I mean, if I were selling a game, it almost seems silly to me to not, because I feel like it's counterintuitive to 
the whole thing is selling, but, you know, it's a lot like, uh, right, if you're a car manufacturer, and somebody says, oh, our brakes are screwed up, well, then do you fix those brakes, or do you not fix them? If you fix them, they cost you money. If you leave them, they cost everybody else money. We know the right thing to do, but what is a car company going to do? So you see what I mean there. It's a, it's a thing of circumstance versus what's really going to happen. Um, as I said, I personally believe that you could go back and fix these, but what's the incentive? I don't know. To me, the incentive is, you know, look. Uh, if you you have people in No Man's Sky that are fixing things that let's be honest again uh, I think the thing that just kind of I find astounding about them is that they really could have just taken that money and ran with it and said oh screw all of you ha 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 we do do I don't think they were trying to dupe anybody I think they were ambitious and didn't realize they were in biting off more than they could chew them by the time they did. I think they should have been more honest with people than they were, sure. Uh, I think if they were more honest with people, they wouldn't have had the problems they had, that's for sure. You know, I mean, if you bought the game and they said, look, you know, and uh, maybe you all, this would be a good thing if you ought to come again, I think. Let me know your thoughts on this whole thing. Would you have trusted them more if they would have just told you, look, we promised you this, this, and this, and this feature. We can't do it right now, but stick with us. We are working on this, this, and this feature, and we will have it in a future release. Uh, would you have trusted that more? Would you have still bought No Man's Sky? Um, what would you have done about it? I'm curious to know you guys' thoughts on this, because, again, to me, I feel like if they would have had a little more transparency with this whole thing, they would have had less drama. I think a lot of the drama came from Sean Murray himself a night before the game was released telling people, oh, I hope you weren't going into it expecting, and then every feature he listed being a feature he told people to expect. Not a great idea, Sean. Not a great idea. And this comes from somebody who is now let's play new games and still thinks this is a bad idea. Now this is the bullshit I'm talking about with the spawn points. Um, it is insane, in fucking insane to me, that this happens in this game. Because I don't care who you are, this is bullshit, no matter what. Uh, I feel like this is too fucking much for any game. Um, there's just no rhyme or reason to it, you know, it's not strategically placed. If there was, say, one placed in different areas where you would feel the need to sneak and where it would be more important to you more pressing to do so, I wouldn't have a problem with it. My problem relies on the fact that there is really no reason to do some of this shit at the end of the day, because again, they've done they made four choices here, I think, with the spawn points. I think the spawn points are a hub thing where they are a resource on the map and they are random. Which again is cool, but no Maybe how to not piss off your own game players by making those spawn points either rare or making them not spawn points but placement points instead so that you, you don't have to worry about that. So we have a new member, the shopkeeper. So we will speak to Brett. Uh, we got Brett. We didn't get anything good here, no. The mentor, uh, the weaponsmith, and the kangaroo. The first thing we're going to do here is speak to the researcher by this, and you will see that we will collect information about the big bads, I guess they're called. Now, this is a risky one here. I generally go for health each time because uh, I feel like it's better to have. Um, see, camouflage your hard to see, and this one is the best of, the, of them. That actually, you can start doing stealth with this. 
Without it, let's be honest, I wouldn't even try to stealth personally. I only kneel in this game so that less vampires bum rush me at once. And I think that says a lot about this. Um, I personally am going to stop this one here. Again, this is Slayer Shock. I'll the link below. Let me know what you guys think of the game. Um, I'm Bones. Thank you guys for watching this this morning, spending some time with me. And we will see you on the next Let's Play. And I will keep you all updated as to the state of our Not Secret Work Let's Play channel. Because, I'll be honest, uh, if YouTube is going to keep dogging me on it to not work with me on it, I don't feel like it's it's worth it, frankly. I feel like uh, we just are not a big enough channel to see any sort of risk versus reward for that, where I feel like it should happen. So that's just me. Um, I don't... So anyways, thank you guys very much. This was Slayer Shock, as you see here. And uh, yes, we will see you on the next episode. So have a great day.